Splatoon as a whole is a game where pretty much everything is intended to be used and seen by the player. That's you, me, everybody else. That uh, doesn't mean it's free from its own share of like weird and odd and uh, honestly unremarkable places, but also it's full of things that you never get the chance to see. So today we're going to take a look at those. Uh, I got this idea from Any Austin's popular YouTube series, Unremarkable and Odd Places in blank, usually Skyrim, Pokemon, uh, places like that. I'm Ulus, and uh, here's some strange and unremarkable places, uh, and also places you've maybe never gotten the chance to see before. First, we're going to start with the city. Um, there's honestly not a lot of places in the city that are unremarkable. The city is pretty well put together. We are in the middle of a Splatfest. I have yet to pick a team. Don't worry about it. Area number one is the Splatsville waterway entrance. During salmon runs, you can hear things laughing from in there, and that's horrifying. Uh, but most of the time, this waterway is pretty uneventful. Another sort of unremarkable area is this porta potty in the back. While people use this ramp up here to move around, uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody come back here other to comment on the fact that this porta potty is here at all. Maybe for workers, jellyfish, uh, us. Happy Splatfest, by the way. Pick a Splatfest team. Another area I don't see many people talking about is not the very top of this area, because this is cool, and sometimes you can find small fry up here, uh, but this little bench area back here by the trash cans and the vending machine that you can sit on, sort of. Who is Claude and why are we saving him? Another place I don't see people talking about a lot is the Shoal. If you want to play games with your friends, and you're all in a room together, why not come to the show instead of starting an online battle? <laughs> Hi, Scooter. It's time to check out some of the actual maps in the So, Scorchcore did what I want to point out is these weird pipes back here that are either holding rock or holding onto rock and going deep into the earth. Oh, I didn't even know you could get up here. That's cool. Also, uh, across the map there are like random weird pieces of metal. Idiots, that's up here, can be gotten into using a zip caster uh, and or beacon and a well-placed, well-timed uh, jump. Retail Alley. Um, again, one of the first things we want to check is the spawn point, because uh, the game loves to throw us off into war, but it's, it's nice to get a chance to look at all of the beautiful, random things they decide to put in the background. There's a sewer, and there's a jellyfish! Hello! Do you live here? How did you get down there? Uh, this... There's like a series of planter boxes here. Can I go fish my Start at spawn. Um, I know that we can see another map from here. I'm blanking. I'll put the title on screen. Row ships. Oh, maybe ship shape is over there. Ah, that'd be really funny to put one over here and one over here. Can we get the boxes in the water? Oh my god. Again, if you use Zipcaster, you can get on top of those, which is pretty cool. Undertow spillway. There seems to be some sort of growth happening in the sewers. Oh. This is the first time I'm able to hear the grass in this area. Usually it's covered in ink. Here we are at Mincemeat. First off, look at this trash mountain. The jellyfish are hard at work. That trash mountain. There's cars in there. There's cars in the Splatoon universe. This is something I'm still getting used to. Oh my god, the crane is moving. The crane moves. Very important information. 
Oh, there's a large magnet on the crane. This is one of those places where um, it's actually not symmetrical outside of the map. Although it doesn't affect the map itself. There are some like shadows and stuff in uh, one of the spawn areas that might give some stuff away. But if I'm coming around the corner and you see my shadow first, it may be a little disadvantageous. Why is there a wobbly little pole here? Hammerhead Bridge. Recently completed. You hear the sounds of cars from above. Here's a worker hanging on for dear life. Uh, maybe not OSHA compliant here. These are what the jellyfish get in to uh, climb up these walls for maintenance. Now there's the mill statue and a lighthouse. Museum di Alfonsino. Some of this glass doesn't have anything displayed in it, but some of them do. It's very beautiful artwork. Usually these spinners are covered, so you don't get to see the artwork that's displayed on them. And crabs. Tablets over here that look like watermelons. The shells of presumably early life. Maybe just shells. There's this Platoon 3 logo. I don't think I've ever seen that in the actual universe before. On this side there's this huge bronze and blue statue. And this huge kraken figure, although the paintings look the same as on the other. Okie dokie. Inkblot Art Academy. I love the sound of the grass. Let's see if we can show you how to get here. There we go. Yippee! Cars. I'm still not over the fact that there are literal cars. Here you'll see a very famous clam statue. Uh, the bottom is covered in bronze, or is worn away, which leads, uh, leads me to believe that someone has either touched this a lot of times, or it was intentional. Here is a series of artworks, a Mother Inkling and Jellyfish Sun Saints. Ah, yes, here's the Squid Bust statue. I think they make replicas of this, because I just bought one today at the general store. Vesuvian Jellyfish Man? Ah, a student working on their art. How nice. There's a lot of weird places uh, in this map. There's a road, and maybe the entrance to the school over there. It must be interesting to watch her fours as they are. Um, happen in your literal academy. Here we are at Sturgeon Shipyard. We have plenty of, of life above the map. Oh, the jellyfish seem to love working here. We have some tanks uh, quarantined off from the players so they don't explode anything, which is probably a good idea. I wonder if this is actually a red used to pick anything up. Make a mark. I've heard that this area is colloquially known as the breakfast aisle or breakfast. It would be nice to one day be able to walk through these aisles, but I'm not shopping over there, I'm shopping over here. Alright, it's time for one of my favorites, Baku Girl. Who doesn't love an amusement park? A dock of some kind that allows the jellyfish to come in and watch us fight each other to the death. Glad we're considered part of the amusement. Uh, this pole has been a meme since it came out. I'm not really sure why. Brian Water Springs. But there's a whole city over there. Or, or a whole town. So this is the town's onsen. Which is a little strange to see a structure in the middle of an onsen. You can see more of the city from here. This is a symmetrical map, again, where shadows might come into play. The shadows could give some things away. And while it looks really, really nice, the lighting looks very pretty. Um, I can see that being a problem. Oh, here's a map. There's a map of the town. I keep calling it a city, but it is a town. Right. 
Thunder Heights. From Spawn, you can see jellyfish living their lives, cars, more apartment buildings that are numbered. You can only enter it, if, if that's what you want to call it, from this side. Because it's protected from this side. But you are able to enter it. I'm not going to jump into Poogle Point, but I'm sure somebody's died in here. Uh, or been splatted in here. And it uh, wasn't pleasant and was very shocking. Seems to be some jellyfish partying on the rooftops. Oh, a playground! Hello! Oh my goodness. That's so cute. There's more here than I expected. We're here at a mommy ruins. Again, you don't really get a chance to see these, so it's nice to get a good look at them. Mirrors articles, perhaps? Some history on the area. This circular point um, seems like maybe something we shouldn't be walking on, but uh, if they deem it fine, I suppose it's fine. Oh, there's way more than I thought there was. Never gotten a good chance to look at these. Seems like maybe this isn't sh something we should be fighting on. Uh, seems kind of historically important. Here we are at Manta Maria. <laughs> uh, there are flags for plaza posts. And they look ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this jump. Can stand in these. Uh, I'm not really sure why you'd want to. This is a little bit far from the middle of the area, but it is fun. It's calming. Nice to kind of just walk around here. Not much to see out there other than sailboats. Still a very nice view. Oh, a jellyfish. Hello. This must be the captain of the ship. Onto everybody's favorite shopping mall, Barnacle and Dime. <sighs> there seems to be a play place right on the edge of the map. Covered in glass so the children can hear. Here is a directory of the mall. We are here. <laughs> Ah, here's another children's play area. Seems like there's a lot of little tunnels these kids can come through, uh, in and out of, that's just safe enough <laughs> to keep them from being covered in ink. Sure enough, there's a child playing with a ship. That's very cute. Alright, I'm back on track. skylight that is a little hard to look at. <laughs> Okie dokie! Crab Lake Capital! Top of the world! Uh, if you're afraid of heights, now is not the time to be looking. We can see the marketplace from up here, just like we can see Graveling from down there, and even farther from there, I believe, is either another ship cargo area or that is ship shape off in the distance somewhere. We have some jellyfish in the elevator. Hello, good day to you. They seem busy. Let's leave them alone. Very, very high up into the sky. You do not want to fall off one of these grates. Lots of signage. It's nice to chill and look at this, this city and the town below every once in a while. That's what we're here for, after all, is to look around and find places we don't get a chance to look at. Here we are at Ship Shape Cargo Co. The surrounding area seems to be very frozen. Um, this is probably not the area that you can see from Crab Leg. 
feel like there's much to even say about ship shape. The, the biggest standout thing is this big purple building that is only on one side of the map. Ship shape is pretty straightforward. There's places for workers to climb up on these pillars. It looks safe enough. Much safer than Hammerhead Bridge. Wouldn't want to fall into that water though. It looks pretty, pretty cold. Time for Robo Ramen. Now from what I hear, you can't actually get into the big cool ramen bowl, which is a little disappointing. Look! Boots with a robo waiter. The elevator music is very cute. And also a spilled cup of something. That's. Man, that tells a story, doesn't it? Bluefin Depot. I don't really know this place all that well, but, um. Here we are, I'm gonna check it out, take a look. Here we have a mine cart. Ah, I love the sound of grass. Ah, this is something different. I don't know what it is. Okay, Marlin Airport. First things first, it is already really loud here. Planes in the distance. A hugely asymmetrical area, but it looks very nice. Ah, there's Perlina Airline. Hello. This is the most important thing in the entire game. Lesbianism. I want to say thank you to our lovely uh, recon lady for putting up with us through this entire ordeal. Remember to support your local workers and to go on a recon and see all the crazy shit that's out there.